Footfalls echo in the memory down the passage which we did not take towards the door we never opened into the rose garden. My words echo thus in your mind. But to what purpose disturbing the dust on a bowl of rose leaves, I do not know. Other echoes inhabit the garden. Shall we follow? Quick, said the bird. Find them, find them, round the corner. Through the first gate, into our first world, shall we follow the deception of the thrush? Into our first world, there they were, dignified, invisible, moving without pressure, over the dead leaves, in the autumn heat, through the vibrant air, and the bird called in response to the unheard music hidden in the shrubbery, and the unseen eye beam crossed, for the roses had the look of flowers that are looked at. There they were as our guests, accepted and accepting. So we moved, and they, in a formal pattern, along the empty alley, into the box circle, to look down into the drained pool. Dry the pool, dry concrete, brown edged, and the pool was filled with water out of sunlight, and the lotus rose quietly, quietly, the surface glittered out of heart of light, and they were behind us, reflected in the pool. Then a cloud passed, and the pool was empty. Go, said the bird, for the leaves were full of children, hidden excitedly, containing laughter. Go, 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 said the bird. Humankind cannot bear very much reality. Time past and time future, what might have been and what has been, point to one end which is always present.